all right friends every once in a while uh, the manufacturers will come up with a family pack or a collector's set uh, and if you find them in your trips to the mall or wherever you do your shopping uh, especially if you are a collector uh, be sure to get them so in this pack you can see uh, there's the classic original polo polo green all right 1978 uh, followed by polo blue all right the fresh uh, aquatic type polo black and then uh, finally last but not, not least polo red all right so um, this kind of a set uh, comes by once in a while and then if you uh, so happen to be shopping at the time and you find it uh, be sure to get it uh, and enjoy on the variety of uh, cents on offer so you can as you can see the price in US dollars it's about 40 to 50 dollars all right uh, this set is a uh, 15 mil volume, right? Uh, each, each of them are 15 mils in volume. And then, of course, you get all the chemical names, uh, the ingredients uh, in the pack. And then uh, it's uh, the Rolf Lawrence New York, and then the distribution is uh, by their base in Paris, all right? So that's basically uh, the box, all right, for you. Have a look at the box. Um, now we'll go uh, into the scents one by one okay now we turn our attention to polo black i think polo black will be quite a short review because um, I, I don't it's, it's okay first of all it's strong right <laughs> it's it's a strong uh, uh, very strong kind of uh, perfume it, it really hits you okay uh, black right I don't know maybe uh, because they chose the color black they wanted something intense I guess well this one was launched in year 2005 under the nose of Pierre Neguin and uh, well about the ingredients I think I'll just summarize for you it starts off fruity with a mango vibe and then uh, dries down into sandalwood but I get a lot of musk as well so maybe it's just my nose but anyway uh, I feel it's kind of too strong, too, I don't know, too, too, too powerful and uh, uh, I uh, I guess certain kind of men can carry this off well or if your work involves you being around very, you know, uh, sweaty, congested places, I guess like clubs and all that, if you're working in those kind of places where you're sweating and you need, and you need a perfume that sort of, uh, you know, overcomes all that, then I can see this sort of working in that kind of a setup. But other than that, I mean, even even those kind of uh, places, you've got, you've got other perfumes that are more, I think, better, Pacola Bane 1 million and so on, uh, to, to use for, for intense or uh, what's the other one, um, uh, JPG, right? JPG Le Mall and so on that you can use for clubbing activities. So, um, Polo, after their classic 78 uh, Green Ori original OG, it seems they've been on sort of a downhill trend. Uh, of course, I have not tried every single of their uh, perfumes. Um, when I go perfume shopping, I have sort of sniffed here and there safari and so on, but nothing really piqued my interest. And um, well, this time I got 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 a set because you know it was a set. It seemed like a good deal uh, with four of the uh, colors: green, blue, black, and red. So I thought, what the heck? Let's just uh, sort of take our time and. Uh, tested and well uh, as expected uh, it, it's not it's not it's not really exciting me at all so I guess they really need to uh, relook at everything and try to uh, refresh themselves as a, I mean if you call it a fashion brand right uh, we can't be looking at the past all the time we got to be contemporary and move towards the future so um, yep if the people behind Polo are listening uh, they should revamp their design even the bottle design i think it's not so inspiring you know like they just keep the same design from 1978 just changing the color i think um some amount of risk taking would be would be interesting i mean i know there's the polo sport and there's some other uh lines coming in but but i still feel they need some kind of a refresh you know uh, but anyway this is basically mango sandalwood lots of musk and if you are kind of person who's into that kind of a strong thing then yeah I guess uh, it might be something you want to jam to um, how much I'm gonna give uh, sorry it's one out of five uh, Polo's been consistently getting relatively low marks from me but uh, I mean you know your nose is the ultimate uh, judge and the people around you because of 
the chemical reaction of your um, skin with the perfume and whatnot. So um, if you bring a friend along and whatnot to your perfume shopping, you can spray some, uh, walk around, go watch a movie or what, and then try to, you know, ask the person to sort of smell your wrist or wherever you spray it and see whether it it's pleasant to them, it's pleasant to you, and then if, if you still think it's worth it, then you can go for uh, Polo Black.